Welcome to another episode of the Frame Drum Video Podcast. Today I want to talk about how to use different sounds like uh, jingles or chains or rings or shakers and add them to your lap style playing. You can do this with any duff or diary or any drum that has these things attached inside the frame. And I will also show you my solution how to add these sounds to any lap style frame drum. This is an 18 inch bandier and we're not going to worry about the strings today. I have them disabled. We're not, we not going to use them. And this is, uh, these are foot jingles. Normally you wear them around your ankle and you keep the beat, for example. And um, this is just a simple bent piece of metal and there is some rubber around one half uh, so it doesn't scratch the frame. Now you can use this in a very simple way to uh, attach the foot jingles to the frame, just like this. And now when you hit the frame with your palm, you will hear the jingles. This is something I came up with together with my grandfather, who is an engineer. And uh, it is a little attachment system which has some metal parts that you can uh, attach to any drum with a thumb pole. And uh, you can use it for different things. For example, in this case, uh, you have a couple of shakers attached to the inside of the frame. Now here I attached um, the frame of a dove but without the skin, but it has all the, all the chains. So now when we hit the frame, you can hear the dove chains and also every time you hit the doom, they're buzzing a little bit. It's a nice, nice extra sound. Uh, by the way, I can also use this thing to very simply mount uh, all my frame drums to cymbal stands using standard drum hardware. Now let's see how we can add this to our playing. Instead of snapping or playing tags with the left hand, now you can hit the frame with your palm and uh, have the ring sound instead. Let's play the malfouf with the right hand and uh, we can keep the beat with the left hand. It's pretty similar to having uh, foot jingles and keeping the beat with your foot. And the same thing works on the offbeat. You can also fill the rhythm with 16th notes using the shaking sounds of the left hand. The main challenge now is to balance the drum because you cannot really hold it anymore. All right, that's it for today. I'd like to especially thank my grandfather for uh, all the time he takes to listen to uh, my strange ideas with frame drums and um, developing stuff with me. And he comes up with great things. So uh, thank you very much. 
and uh, all of you guys, if you want to attach stuff inside the frame, there are many ways of doing it. Feel free to write me an email if you have questions. And if you come up with something new, let me know. Okay, I'll see you next time.